All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to my art channel. It's gonna be experiment time today. When I get questions on my channel, instead of just experimenting, making a painting, and then responding in a comment, I like to actually try some of those things out on Canvas so that you can see it too, and you can conduct your own experiments if you want. So for this one, I am going to be doing two different colors as the base for a pearl painting. And by pearl painting, I mean um, Amsterdam pearl paints. This one's yellow. They are um, an iridescent type uh, color, um, like an interference color. So when they get against a dark background, normally they show up the true color that they are. But, and I've tried it on white, I've done experiments with white and black, the black bases always show up better. But I wanted to test out different colors and I might even do a test with transparent colors because um, I have a theory that even if the color is lighter but it's opaque, that they'll show up better. But we're gonna find out together today. So I am gonna do one puddle of the, this is like a, a purple, um, like a light ultramarine purple and one of a turquoise green puddle them. I haven't decided if I'm gonna swipe or wreck the puddles yet, but I'm gonna see how the colors show up on these kind of more pastel, um, lighter bases, but they're both still opaque colors. I have all six of the pearl colors, so pearl yellow, white, green, violet, red, and blue. So I am really gonna go ahead and get started with this one. I'm excited to see what it's actually gonna turn out like. So I'm just gonna do my first little base of color here. My second base of color here. Maybe I'll just tilt this just a tiny bit this way. I should have drawn it in a square, but I went in a circle. Okay both of those colors down and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space so you can see the colors through it um, I think I'm gonna spread those out just a little bit because the color is gonna go underneath ugh, underneath on top Okay, so I've got that one. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so my colors will meet up there. Spread this side out because it just needs the base color underneath it to show up. And then I'll be able to stretch it out a little bit more. All right. So this part is done. Let me torch. Whoops. And now I'm going to start with my puddles. So I'm going to start with blue. And I am gonna do some smaller puddles here because I want to have enough space for all the colors and still leave a little bit of space for the background color to pop through. I actually really like this background color palette. Now I'm gonna come in with my red. Plenty. Now this is violet. Very interested to see how the violet will show up on the purple. Okay, and I'm excited to see how the green is gonna show up on the turquoise green side. So this is green. But I feel like having these different colors underneath, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I think I 
that it may even like make them a little bit brighter. But who knows? All right, my last colors. Oh, I'm not gonna use much of the pearl white. It's like a silver. It's not my favorite of the pearl colors, but I do think just a couple pops here and there might do it, brighten it up a little bit. And then same for the pearl yellow. The pearl yellow comes out almost like a gold. So just a few little spots of it. All right, maybe one more. Ooh, do I want one? Right there. Okay, now the moment of truth. I'm gonna come through and wreck this. I do wanna pop any air bubbles again. All right, let's wreck this. So I am gonna come through, you know, I wonder if I should use my, my head scratcher. No, I'm gonna wreck it like this this time. Kind of like I did before in that like pattern. to get all the way through there it's just so interesting that it's not the black base on there I don't know how this is going to come out so I'm going to come back this way now hmm do I do one straight up and down Trying to make it through all the puddles at least one time with a light touch. And someone had an idea, and I think I might do it next, to pour lines of color and then let the wrecking swoosh them the way that, like, that they should go. And I like that idea as well. But I think I'm done here. I'm going to wipe off my tool. And I think I'm just gonna stretch this out. The one thing I will say is that normally when I do these, I can already start to see what color they are because of the black base, the black background. And I can't see a lot of the color on these. So I don't know if this is gonna show up or not. But we shall see. It's what this is all about, experimenting and having fun. Okay, so I'm gonna start up here, and I've definitely got enough color on there. So this is gonna be almost like a gradient background as well. Hmm, I'm not gonna get, I didn't wanna go to that corner yet because it's all gonna get distorted, but there we go. Okay, now down to this corner. I can see a little bit of the gold actually popping up, which is really pretty. Now I'm gonna bring my paint back to the center, see it happening to the center, and then I'm gonna bring it back down to straighten my puddles out. There we go. Okay, so, I don't know if these are gonna show up. I can kind of start to see them. Like I think that's violet, that's green. I can definitely see the, the gold showing up. So if so, this is really, really cool because then you can do, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna drip. Then you can do like puddles of color for the background and they'll show up. So I don't know, I'm gonna fix up my sides. We'll let this one dry, see what it looks like. Fingers crossed that this works because that opens up a whole other world of ideas for me. So I'll show you. 
So this is what it looks like now. And like I said, it's way harder to see what colors there actually are. Very pretty. Even if this was just like white and doesn't actually change a color, it's still very pretty. And then there you can see the gold kind of show, or the yellow kind of showing up a little bit. But I just don't know. We will have to wait and find out how this dries. What a super cool experiment. So the first thing I want you to see is this is without light shining on it. The colors are super soft, but they definitely show up. But this is when the light hits it. Crazy, right? All the colors show up. Again, not quite as bright on the um, as on the black base, but the green on the green side looks just a little bit greener. So does the blue. That's the red color and it almost like canceled it out, muted it a little bit more. The yellow shows up really well. And then on the blue side, you can see the purple shows up really well. The white shows up really well. And I think I screwed that up in the video. I think that that is bluish gray. Not I've been ruining my colors lately when I'm telling you what they are. It's bluish gray, not ultramarine light. I could tell when it dried in the... Um, cup it looked a little bit more purplish but look at that my lights are flickering super interesting really really cool so the the answer is yes it does work the color underneath the base the color still showed up the base was opaque so i may try this with a transparent color set and see, I really love the split color concept for this as well. So it is back to the drawing board. I'm going to experiment some more with this. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Happy painting. Bye.